We are going over percent proportions. My learning target is I can solve real world problems to find the whole given the part and the percent and to find the part given the whole and the percent using percent proportions. So first I'm going to review what a proportion is. A proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. If you want to solve for the unknown, you need to look for the relationship between either the enumerators or the denominators. You need to ask yourself what number is either being divided or multiplied by to get to um, the other number. And then if you're going to write a percent proportion, you need to set it up as part over whole equals percent 100. So for example, Jennifer ate two hot dogs. There were 10 hot dogs. What percent of the hot dogs did she eat? So my part over whole, she ate two out of 10. We're looking for the percent and percents are over 100. 10 times 10 is 100, so 2 times 10 is 20, so 20% 20 is our answer. All right, number one, Caden has completed 23 questions, has completed 23 questions of his 50 question test. What percentage of the test has he finished? So my part over whole, he has completed 23 out of 50 questions. We want to know what percent that is. One, uh, 50 times 2 is 100, so 23 times 2 is 46. He's completed 46% of the test. Number two, there are 400 students in sixth grade. 32% of these students have a sibling in eighth grade. How many students have a sibling in eighth grade? So my part over whole, we do not know our part. We know our whole is 400 students. We know our percent is 32, and we know that percents are out of 100. So... We know that 40, 400, um, 100 divided by 4, I'm sorry, not divided by 100, times 4 is 400. So what is 32 times 4? So that is 108, 128 students in 6th grade have a sibling in 8th grade. Aiden scored 48% of his team's points at the football game. If he scored 12 points, how many points did his team score? So we know that he scored 12. We don't know our whole. We know that the 12 was 48%. So we know that 48 divided by 4 is 12. So what's 100 divided by 4? That is 25. So they scored a total of 25 points. Number four, Elizabeth is five years old. Her sister is 250% older than her. How old is her sister? So my part over whole, we know that she is five and we don't know how old her sister is. We know that five is, I'm sorry, the five would not be the part. We know that she is five five years old and we don't know how old her sister is. We know her sister is this unknown is 250% of her age. So we would divide by 20 to get five. So 250 divided by 20.
So we know that her sister is 12 and a half years old. Number five. In a survey, 300 students were asked what is their favorite subject. 72% of them said it was math. How many students didn't say math was their favorite subject? So if we know that 72% said it was math, what percentage said it wasn't math? So 28% said it wasn't math. So my whole is 300. We don't know our part. We know that 28% said it wasn't math. We are going to divide by 3. I'm sorry, multiply by 3. So what's 28 times 3? So that is going to be 74 students. The Carroll family orders pizza for their family reunions. There are 25 family members and eight wanted pepperoni. What percentage of the family did not want pepperoni? So if there's 25 and eight wanted pepperoni, we know that 17 did not want pepperoni. So my part is 17, my whole is 25. And then we don't know the percentage. So this is times 4, so 17 times 4 so 68% did not want pepperoni.